Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Elaine Zhao Elaine Lan Zhao is the 18th and current United States Secretary of Transportation, a member of the Republican Party. She was previously a cabinet member in the administration of President George W. Bush. On November 29, 2016, President-elect Donald Trump nominated Zhao to serve as the Secretary of Transportation. She was confirmed by the Senate on January 31, 2017. In a 93-6 vote, Zhao served as the 24th United States Secretary of Labor under President George W. Bush from 2001 to 2009 and as Deputy Secretary of Transportation and Director of the Peace Corps under President George H. W. Bush, Zhao served as President of the United Way of America from 1992-1996 and served as a Distinguished Fellow with the Heritage Foundation before and after her service as U.S. Secretary of Labor. Prior to being sworn in as the U.S. Secretary of Transportation on January 31, 2017, she was a Distinguished Fellow with the Hudson Institute, born in Taipei, Taiwan, to Chinese parents who had left mainland China in 1949. Zhao was the first Asian American woman and the first Chinese American in U.S. history to be appointed to a president's cabinet. Though the position of Secretary of Transportation is in line of succession of the president, she is not eligible for this. Zhao is married to Senator Mitch McConnell of Kentucky, who has been the Senate Majority Leader since January 3, 2015. Early life and education Elaine Zhao emigrated to the United States when she was eight years old. The eldest of six daughters, Zhao was born to Ruth Melanchu Zhao, a historian, and James C. Cheng Zhao, who began his career as a merchant mariner, and in 1964 founded a successful shipping company in New York City called Foremost Maritime Corporation, and developed it into the current Foremost Group, where he still serves as chairman. James had first met Truth when she and her family relocated to Shanghai during World War II. In 1949, James and Ruth relocated separately to Taiwan at the culmination of the Chinese Civil War, and then married in 1950. In 1961, Elaine came to the United States on a freight ship along with her mother and two younger sisters, a journey that took 37 days. Her father had arrived in New York three years earlier after receiving a scholarship. Zhao attended Tsai Xing Elementary School in Taipei for kindergarten and first grade, and subsequently attended Syosset High School in Syosset, New York, on Long Island. She was naturalized as a U.S. citizen at the age of 19. She received a Bachelor of Arts degree in Economics from Mount Holyoke College in South Hadley, Massachusetts, in 1975. In the second semester of her junior year she did a domestic exchange to Dartmouth College, where she studied money and banking. She received a MBA degree from Harvard Business School in 1979. While at Harvard Business School she was the first woman at Harvard to be elected class officer and class marshal. She was a member of the Finance Club, the Financial Accounting Club, the International Business Club and the Transportation Club. Zhao has received 36 honorary doctorates, including an honorary Doctor of Humane Letters degree from Georgetown University in 2015. Early Career Before entering public service, Zhao was Vice President for Syndications at Bank of America Capital Markets Group in San Francisco, California, and an international banker at Citicorp in New York for four years. She was granted a White House Fellowship in 1983, during the Reagan administration. In 1986, Zhao became Deputy Administrator of the Maritime Administration in the U.S. Department of Transportation. From 1988 to 1989, she served as Chairwoman of the Federal Maritime Commission. In 1989, President George H. W. Bush nominated Zhao to be Deputy Secretary of Transportation serving from 1989 to 1991. From 1991 to 1992, she was the director of the Peace Corps. She was the first Asian Pacific American to serve in any of these positions. She expanded the Peace Corps' presence in Eastern Europe and Central Asia by establishing the first Peace Corps programs in Poland, Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia, and other newly independent states of the former Soviet Union. Between Bush administrations, 
Following her service in President George H. W. Bush's administration, Zhao worked for four years as President and CEO of United Way of America. She is credited with returning credibility and public trust in the organization after a financial mismanagement scandal involving former President William R. Mone. From 1996 until her appointment as Secretary of Labor, Zhao was a distinguished fellow with the Heritage Foundation a conservative think tank in Washington, D.C. She was also a board member of the Independent Women's Forum. She returned to the Heritage Foundation after leaving the government in January 2009. U.S. Secretary of Labor 2001-2009 Jia was the only cabinet member in the George W. Bush administration to serve for the entirety of his eight years. She was also the longest-serving Secretary of Labor since Frances Perkins who served from 1933 to 1945, under President Franklin D. Roosevelt. According to Occupational Safety and Health Administration statistics, in 2007 six years into chaos tenure, the workplace fatality rate declined 14% since 2001, and since 2002, the workplace injury and illness rate dropped 21% with both at all-time lows. Under her leadership, the U.S. Department of Labor undertook regulatory and legislative reforms in protecting the health, safety, wages, and retirement security of U.S. workers by recovering record levels of back wages and monetary recoveries for pension plans, and obtaining record financial settlements for discrimination by federal contractors. She also restructured departmental programs and modernized regulations. Over the course of her tenure, the department reduced their discretionary budget from $11.7 billion to $11.6 billion, and was the first cabinet-level agency to have been rated green by the Office of Management and Budget, having exhibited excellence in budget management practices in every area. Union Disclosure Requirements In 2002, a major West Coast ports dispute costing the U.S. economy nearly $1 billion daily was resolved, when the Bush administration obtained a national emergency injunction against both the employers and the union under the Taft-Hartley Act. For the first time since 1971, led by Zhao in 2003, for the first time in more than 40 years, the department updated the labor union financial disclosure regulations under the Landrum-Griffin Act of 1959 which created more extensive disclosure requirements for union-sponsored pension plans and other trusts to prevent embezzlement or other financial mismanagement. In 2004, the department issued revisions of the white-collar overtime regulations under the Fair Labor Standards Act. Government Accountability Office Reports After analyzing 70,000 closed case files from 2005 to 2007, the Government Accountability Office reported that the department's wage and our division inadequately investigated complaints from low- and minimum-wage workers alleging that employers failed to pay the federal minimum wage, required overtime, and failed to issue a last paycheck. A 2008 Government Accountability Office report noted that the Labor Department gave Congress inaccurate numbers that understated the expense of contracting out its employees' work to private firms during chaos tenure mining regulation. A 2007 report by the department's inspector general found that mine safety regulators did not conduct federally required inspections at more than 14 percent of the country's 731 underground coal mines, and that the number of worker deaths in mining accidents more than doubled to 47. Subsequently, on December 10, 2008, Zhao announced that the Department of Labor's Mine Safety and Health Administration had for the first time in the agency's 31-year history, achieved its goal of completing every mandated regular inspection for the year, then consisting of 14,800 active mining operations. This announcement was made within the first year of the agency's 100% plan, which was launched by the MSHA in October 2007 to improve the completion of quarterly and biannual inspections. OSHA statistics for 2007 and 2008 revealed that overall workplace fatality rates and workplace injury and illness rates were both at all-time lows. A 2009 internal audit appraising an occupational safety and health administration initiative focusing on problematic workplaces, however, 
stated that employees had failed to gather needed data, conducted uneven inspections and enforcement, and failed to discern repeat fatalities. Because records misspelled the company's names or failed to notice when two subsidiaries with the same owner were involved. Post Bush Administration 2009 2017. In 2009, Jia resumed her previous role as a distinguished fellow at the Heritage Foundation, and she contributed to Fox News and other media outlets. She also served as a director on a number of corporate and non profit boards including the Institute of Politics, at the Harvard Kennedy School of Government, Wells Fargo, New York Presbyterian Hospital, News Corp, Dole Food Company, and Protective Life Corporation. According to financial disclosure forms, Jia was slated to receive between $1.5 million for compensation for her service on the board of Wells Fargo. In June 2011, she was awarded the Woodrow Wilson Award for Public Service. In January 2015 she resigned from the board of Bloomberg Philanthropies, which she had joined in 2012, because of its plans to significantly increase support for the Sierra Club's Beyond Coal initiative. In 2011 and 2013, Zhao attended Shanghai signing ceremonies for Cape Size Bulkers launched by the Foremost Group her father's company, where she spoke publicly about U.S.-China relations. At the 2013 ceremony, Zhao stated, the U.S.-China relationship is among the most important bilateral relationships in the world. And as such, there is no other alternative, but to have a harmonious and a cooperative relationship. As with any relationship, there are bound to be ups, downs, disagreements, but in the overall scheme of things, in the overall direction, for the benefit of the world, the US and China must get along, and must find a way to do so. In 2013, Jia recorded a motivational video to inspire Asian American children. In February 2017, it was reported by the Associated Press that, that in addition to former Joint Chiefs of Staff General Hugh Shelton, Commandant of the U.S., Marine Corps General James T. Conway, President Obama's former National Security Advisor General James Jones, former CIA Directors Porter Goss, and James R. Woolsey and former FBI Director Louis Free and Vermont Governor Howard Dean, Zhao had addressed organizations linked to the People's Mujahideen of Iran, a group exiled from Iran after actions in the 1970s against the Shah of Iran and the Ayatollah Khomeini. Jia was paid a total of $67,000 for the two speeches, which took place in 2015 and 2016. Jia served as a distinguished fellow at the Hudson Institute until she was sworn in as U.S. Secretary of Transportation on January 31, 2017. U.S. Secretary of Transportation, 2017 present. President Donald Trump announced on November 29, 2016, that he would nominate Zhao to be Secretary of Transportation. The U.S. Senate confirmed Zhao on January 31, 2017, by a vote of 93 6, with her husband Senator McConnell abstaining. Personal Life in 1993, Zhao married Mitch McConnell, the senior U.S. Senator from Kentucky and the eventual Senate Majority Leader. They were introduced by Stuart Block, an early friend of McConnell's, and his wife Julia Chang Block, a Chinese-American and a future U.S. Ambassador to Nepal, the first Asian-American to serve as U.S. Ambassador, who mentored Zhao. Block described Zhao as a tiger wife a reference to Amy Chava's 2011 book about her disciplinarian parenting style. The University of Louisville's Extramilibre reopened the McConnell Jiao archives in November 2009. It is a major component of the university's McConnell Center. In an interview with CNN, Zhao said she sometimes regrets not having children, and she counseled young women that there are trade-offs in life. Husbands campaigning in the two years leading up to the 2014 U.S. Senate elections, she headlined 50 of her own events and attended hundreds more with, and on behalf of, her husband and was seen as, a driving force of his re-election campaign, and eventual victory, over Democratic candidate Alison Lundigan Grimes, who had portrayed McConnell as, anti-woman. After winning the election, McConnell said, The biggest asset I have by far is the only Kentucky woman who served in a president's cabinet. My wife, Elaine Zhao.
She has been described by Jan Carson, a longtime friend of McConnell's, as adding a softer touch to McConnell's style by speaking of him in a feminine, wifely way. She has also been described as the campaign hugger and is also known for bipartisan socializing. For example, in 2014 she hosted a dinner with philanthropist Catherine B. Reynolds to welcome Penny Pritzker as Secretary of Commerce, where she spent the evening socializing with Valerie Jarrett, Obama's top advisor. The New York Times has described her as an unapologetically ambitious operator with an expansive network, a short fuse, and a seemingly inexhaustible drive to get to the top and stay there. The Zhao Family Elaine Zhao is the oldest of six sisters, the others being Jeanette, May, Christine, Grace, and Angela. Her father, James S. C. Zhao, founded Foremost Maritime Corporation in 1964 and developed it into the current Foremost Group, where he still serves as chairman. In April 2008, Chaos' father gave Zhao and McConnell between $5 million and $25 million, which boosted McConnell's personal worth from a minimum of $3 million in 2007 to more than $7 million, and helped the McConnells after their stock portfolio dipped in the wake of the financial crisis that year. In 2012, the Zhao family donated $40 million to Harvard Business School for scholarships for students of Chinese heritage and the Ruth Milan Chu Zhao Center, an executive education building named for Chaos' late mother. It is the first building named after a woman on the Harvard campus, and the first building named after an American of Asian ancestry. Ruth Milan Chu Jiao returned to school at age 51, to earn a master's degree in Asian literature and history from St. John's University in the Queens Borough of New York City. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries Would you like to know more?